Okay, so first run, the first part of the day, after two and a half hours, I believe. I'm not sure what the time is. Yeah, around two and a half hours. So not even a big one. Just just came down here. It's not even taking the it out for a long way. Looks like a small one. Not a big one, it just, I don't know. It just ran really fast and then now it's here. Huh? It's fast and now it's already here. Really? They, they are fast, right? Please be a black shark. I see a bit of black. I see a bit of black. Yes, it is. Yes. <laughs> I knew it. Black shark minnow. I need a photo. I need, take me a good photo with you, okay? Black shark minnow. Yes, we were talking about it. The Tai Lu Hap Let me get a camera ready. Yeah. Um, What's it on? What spot? This no, what spot? Just down there. You can, you can check the angle. Come here if you can. Hey, Black Shark Middle guys. This is my first one. Did they jump here? Can they jump? Yeah, they jump. Guys, beautiful Black Shark Middle. Look at that. Ready? Ready? You ready? Yeah. No, no, it's recording. Okay, ready? We have a nice, beautiful black shark meadow, guys. I don't know how big it is, so but it's a beauty. Look at it. Look at that. It's like a dark purple. The black out as well. Some good coloration. Great pattern scales. Fought really, a, not really hard, but like a a strong run. Took me a quite a bit of a way, then it came back closer to me. So yeah. This is what it is guys, my first black shark minnow. So look at it, the whole fish. Look at that one guys. All right, see, beautiful black shark minnow guys. Around, I don't know how many, four pounds. It's three. Three pounds. It's three pounds. Yeah, look at that. Look at the mouth, beautiful. See? Go, go, go. All right, so hopefully we catch the same one next time, but bigger, mom and dad. This is like Jason. Look at that, beautiful. They give us a rest. Second bite, and it's a tilapia. It? Tilapia. Banin. Just a normal size tilapia. Probably could eat it if you wanted. If you like tilapia, mm -hmm. umbo. Look at that. Lovely in the sweet corn. Alright, so that's two fish, two different species. See if we can catch uh, maybe a nice hovens would be nice, and uh, of course the Julians. That would be the target. Plenty of fish on here, just gonna kind of feed the area. Mainly going for any species. Alright, guys. So just to show you what I'm using, the, I'm using a method feeder and around um, possibly like a five to six inch uh, setup. So this is my feeder with the the herring on, which is one one bit of corn right here. Simple around a nice size nine gamagatsu with barbless hook. And yeah. So here, just got some nice uh, plain ground bait which is just bread and we mix it with some corn and corn juice as well and you know cast it over over there just over there and it had sorry no I cast it here had a first uh, black shark minnow which is really nice first one here so that's one off uh, the list and now I just had another one which had a, a tilapia which is banin so that was really nice but you know quite often catch them here yeah, so this is what I do. Just literally drop it here. I don't need a cast. See, I can just extend my rod and just drop it down there. See? Nice and easy. So, a lot of species around there. Just need to wait and see which one takes the bait. Alright guys, so just to give an update. It is now 1.41pm on a Saturday afternoon. On the 20th of July. So, so far, just to update. Caught myself three fish. Uh, two different species so first run which was a nice three and a half pound four uh, pound black shark minnow first time here was Hanover so really really happy about it and then the other two fish were um, tilapia so basically banin 
and then, yeah nothing much from afterwards after that and then right now I just ordered some food so I ordered kapow musap and fried chicken so yeah just waiting for food and then just hoping for some more you know spectacular fish so I'm aiming for any species to be really good so yeah weather here has been actually spectacular as you can see look at that so it's not sunny it's just really right really nice conditions nice and perfect you got a nice breeze on the right side and yeah fished a couple of times just fishing down right in front of the hyacinths down there as you can see so a lot of species down there all right right here just lunch just has just arrived ordered some thai food kapow with minced pork kapow musap which is really nice here of course lovely as always kapow and topping out with uh Kaidao with a nice egg and also got a plate of fried chicken which is also really lovely as always so I always order the same um, you know really loving it here and yeah really tasty and really nice so yeah all is good I think that's one that's come out of bottom lake this is a bit just a bit yes like that like that a bit more like that beautiful Julian's around 40th hi Maya Alright, so just adding a bit of corn to the mix. Um, species love it, like Julian's, Hovens, Black like You can even use it on the, um, put it on, on the hair rig. But plenty of this in the ground bay mix, which is really good. But yeah, as you can see, and just mix it and it gives that corn syrup scent, which is really good. Probably there's a square above me. So yeah, luckily it's not a snake. Alright, so some corn mix into the ground bay, which is really good. Oh, it's another fish. It didn't make a sound on the bite alarm. Seems like another small tilapia. Oh, fish on. It's a strange one. Any good, any good eye? Any good eye? Yeah. No song, sap. No song, sap. Took quite a while to get photos because it was really fidgety. It's very nice. Not a big size, it's around like 25 pound ish. You can see. Got a lot of energy. Yeah, we're gonna let him go now. Alright, off he goes. Alright, come back again, but bigger. Alright. Okay, beautiful Julian. Yo, you need your... Alright, so this is run number 8, it's quite a decent one, definitely not tilapia, but looking forward to see what it is, oh shit, it came off. Alright, so welcome back here Wasana, I think it's the 27th of July, I can't remember, so 27th or 26th, so I just got um, a tin of sweet corn from Macro, which I actually had in stock with in my storage room for the past few months, but didn't seem to be using so we're just gonna add this mix it with the ground bait right here so yeah this is my whole setup for fishing and yeah just keeping it really simple have my trolley down there just to keep all my stuff there so once I pack it up just nice and easy just chuck it in there then head to the car but yeah just gonna have this here and add it here into the, the bowl and just mix it with the ground bait and then put it with the the feeder all right so yeah that is I set up nice and simple. 
nothing too much but yeah all is good just waiting for the big fish just casting it here down here near the high sense just around like a rod lip, one rod limp out yeah just one handful of ground bait and then just one good squeeze and then yeah basically put a lot bit more water than usual so i use like it a bit more wet than that but yeah that's just my preference and we're just gonna cast it just down there really seems to have a lot of species on there and fish jumping Are you eating them out? Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. I've oh, got a strange run. Oh, I lost it. I don't know what it was. Not mine. 